So here's a quick test for a very wide field ion projector. And here's the rig. It's just the voltage multiplier on a stick. And at the end here, a vodka bottle has been converted into an ion beam head. So let's take a look at what's inside. So inside of that, there is a metal washer and you can see sticking out of the center of that metal washer just a tiny little bit. And there's a set of carbon electrodes, very thin carbon electrodes. So as ions fly, fly out of that carbon wire and hit the washer, it's gonna give it a light charge, creating a ion accelerator. And if I point this at any one of these plates here, but just to show kind of how wide the field is. Now, if I step back, now I'm about four feet back and these plates are about five and a half feet wide. I'm just gonna flip this on and we get a pretty quick response. That's because we're generating both high speed and low speed ions. Now to show that we have some very high speed ions, what I'm gonna do is move the cam close to just this plate here and I'll keep the ion head at the same distance. Now listen to the sound of the switch when you hear it flip and watch how, how quickly the neon bulb lights up. Again, so on, and uh, I'll also leave this on for a second here, and now listen to the sound of the switch shutting off and see how long it continues to stay lit after. So those were the low speed ions still trying to make their way towards the plate. Most of them are fairly high speed. That's because this is a negative output device. And so we're not just getting negative ions, we're getting a lot of electrons and those electrons move incredibly fast while trying to find their way to a ground point. And so some of them will move almost instantaneously and cut right through the air, hitting almost no air molecules and doing no, uh, no work. And uh, in this case, it just shows us that we can make a very wide ion cloud. If I were to point this, say, above my head and stand out in the middle of a field, the ion cloud surrounding me would be something like 12 foot wide with uh, exactly what we're seeing here, which is right now running off 8.4 volts. So that gives you an idea of uh, how big of an ion field we can make with a very, very tiny amount of carbon 